Hey YouTube, welcome. I'm Mr. Clean and this is the Pegasus 303 channel. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get messages, formerly known as iMessage, working in macOS Sierra 10.12. Before I get started, I'd like to give credit to Reddit users Johnny Fortune and Kobo10201. Thanks for the info, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, let's go ahead and mount our EFI partition. And for those of you that may not be aware, this is EFI Mounter version 3 that you can get from uh, TonyMacX86.com from uh, my previous video. All right, here is our EFI partition. I'm going to EFI Clover. And I'm going to open our config plist. All right. Let's go to the SM BIOS. Now, the serial number that was generated by our multi beast pulse insulation, it may work or it may be a gamble, but uh, one way to check is to go to Apple's website, check your service and support coverage. Uh, go ahead and I'll go ahead and paste that serial number and This CAPTCHA is difficult looking. I am not a robot. Yeah, wrong code. Let's try this. Okay, so if you get a message like this, we're sorry, but this serial number is not valid. Please check your information. That's a good thing. That means it's not a, associated with an actual um, real Mac. But let's say we did get a hit, we would um, simply go back to here. Let's click the magic wand. And remember, we have to go with the iMac. And iMac 14.2. Boom, boom. All right, one thing you're going to have to do is do these. If few times to generate a new serial number and click OK. All right, so this is our new serial number. Go ahead and let's check this one and see what happens. Once again, pasted that in uh, the check your coverage. Enter the CAPTCHA again. What? Oh. <laughs> All right, I think I got it at the time. Okay, got an error on that one as well, so we might be good. All right, so next I want to open terminal. And I'm gonna make my life easy, copy and paste. I'll make this available to you as well. I'm gonna go ahead, U-U-I-D-G-E-N and hit return or enter and I'm going to copy this UUID and paste it into my SMU UUID. It's a lot of use. All right, so I'm going to go to copy that and I'm going to paste it right here. SMU UUID. All right. I'm going to save that. And next is a little tricky. Well, not really tricky, just going to take a little bit of thought. So for the board serial number right here, I'm gonna to have to take our newly generated serial number, copy that, paste it here. And I'm gonna to have to add five random letters and numbers. All right, I got my combination of five digits, letter and numbers. All right, so remember, copy this newly generated serial number, paste it here, and at the end, add a combination, any combination of five random letters and numbers. So it could be 
four letters, one number, four numbers, one letter, or any combination thereof. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, so a couple of things to keep in mind. This variable is filled, that should remain blank. And MLB, this I did not have to do anything with, so that should uh, remain blank. I believe there are some tutorials that will instruct you to put information there, but I worked. it worked without it for me, so here we are. Booter config, I had to change it from 067 from the previous video, as I mentioned, to 0x28 in order for uh, the messages fixed to work. And this stayed the same as 0x3. Now, if for any reason your ROM, your number doesn't automatically pop up here, you can simply uh, go to TonyMacX86.com. And there's actually a very useful uh, code for terminal that uh, J Monkey, one of the moderators at Tony Mac x86 created. So scroll to the bottom of his post, and I'll go ahead and make this link available in the description. Alrighty, that downloaded. Let's go to our downloads folder. All right, so go ahead and just double click that, open it. Okay, and let's run the uh, iMessage debug. This is a, uh, it's gonna open terminal. And that's probably floating in the background there. Cool. Okay, and here we are. You can simply just copy and paste the ROM here. Copy it there. And uh, here we go. And paste it here. And it's real important to note that if Apple gets wind of the same numbers being used or any variation each day, um, it will blacklist your numbers. So you have to go through the step all over again and possibly, I don't know, maybe even your entire machine, hopefully not. But go ahead and make sure all of this is done properly. All right, so I'm gonna save this. And let's uh, export our list just in case. So I'm gonna click on the right arrow there, config. And let's just tuck it away somewhere safe. I'll drop it in downloads just to have it there. Boom. Okay. So my next step is to, in terminal, I'm gonna wanna show all files. And you can do it in terminal or you can download the show all files app. Okay, so we need to show hidden files. There's a couple ways to do that. Uh, one is Go to terminal. Defaults write com.apple.finder apple show all files true. Return and then kill all finder. All right, so if I look in here, okay, so it's showing me hidden files. But what I actually want to do is show you an easier way. So let me hide these. All right, just to reverse what I put there, except now it's false. And then kill all finder again. So another way we can show all files is go to Tony Mac. x86.com again, downloads. Sorry, community software. Show all files, download now. All right, so it's that little blue button. Go ahead and double click that. Are you sure you want to open it? All right. And show. I have to launch my hard drive here. Okay, you can see there's a hidden files. They're grayed out. We're gonna go to users, um, username, which is your name, library. Grayed out, but there is stuff in there. We can access it. And caches. Okay, go to caches. Caches play. Anyway, we have to delete 
com.apple.messages. And let's see here. All right, if you don't see it, no problem, don't fret. It's uh, something you don't have to delete. Okay, next we're gonna have to delete com.apple.imfoundation.imremote URL connection agent. And here it is right here. com.apple, bum, 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 connection agent. And that is it. Go ahead and delete that. Okay, we're still in library. Let's go to preferences now. And sort by kind. Okay, we have to delete com.apple.ichat. And if there's nothing there, then uh, don't worry. All right, com.apple.ichat. Delete. Com.apple i magint okay don't see that one all right so com.apple.imessage com.apple.imservice com.apple.imessage.bag did not see that one but hey, let's delete it anyway. Just preferences, they can be rebuilt. All right, delete those. All right, so we're gonna go back to our library folder. That's users, username, library. And we're gonna delete the folder messages. All right, here it is, messages. All right, if you don't see it, don't worry about it, but uh, it is here, so let's Delete that. Messages. Bye. Okay. Next, we're going to empty the trash. And if it barks at you and says in use or whatnot, um, reboot. And immediately after rebooting, empty the trash. Okay, now we're going to open this utility. We're going to select our drive. And we're going to rebuild the permissions. So click first aid and run. In earlier versions of Mac OS, it's fixed permissions, but um, first aid is what we're doing here. All right. So let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, let's launch messages. Looks like that may be working. Let's give it a test. Actually, I'm gonna stop the video right there and I'm going to set up another camera so I can do a test. Okay, I'm gonna send a message to myself. Look at that. All right, looks like iMessage is working. All right, and to see if it goes both ways, I'm gonna send a message back. All right, that is it. iMessage is working. But one thing I do wanna show you before we quit, some of you may have issues with your network. So what you'll do is if iMessage or messages formerly known as iMessage, isn't working despite all the steps you've taken. Take a look at About This Mac, System Report, and go to Network.
Now your primary network has to be set to EN0. My primary network is what I'm using is my ethernet port and that is EN2, but it, it appears to work. My Wi-Fi, however, is EN0. So this must be my primary network, even though I don't really use it. But if you are having troubles and you have anything but EN0, what you can do is go to your library, so your hard drive, go straight to library, not users. Go to preferences. And system configuration. And you'll want to delete network interfaces and preferences. Now you want to back up before you delete anything, of course, and this should hopefully fix any further issues. So please remember to like and subscribe below and thanks a lot.